modern periodic table in 1913 uh, the english physicist henry mosley through his x-ray diffraction experiment proved that the properties of element depend on the atomic number uh, and not on the atomic mass so uh, he prepared a modern periodic table by arranging elements in the increasing order of atomic number this modern periodic table is also known as long form of periodic table uh, the modern periodic law the chemical and physical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic number uh, features of modern periodic table uh, all the elements are in arranged in the increasing order of their atomic number the horizontal rows are called as periods uh, there are seven periods in the periodic table vertical columns in the periodic table starting from top to bottom are called as groups there are 18 groups in periodic table uh, based on the physical and chemical properties of elements they are grouped into various families let's see about the groups in the modern periodic table first group is alkali metal second alkaline earth metal third to twelfth group transition metal thirteenth group boron family fourteenth group carbon family fifteenth group nitrogen family sixteenth group oxygen or chalcogen family seventeenth group halogen family eighteenth group noble gases Let's see about classification of element into blocks. First, X is block elements. It includes group 1 alkali metals and group 2 alkaline earth metals. They are also called as representative elements. Uh, the uh, group 1 metals react with water to form solution and the group 2 metals combine with oxygen to form oxides uh, to, and these oxides produce alkaline solution uh, when they are dissolved in water uh, next block is p block elements these elements are group uh, these elements are in group 13 to 18 they include boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine in addition to noble classes they are also called as representative elements uh, the p block element contains a biggest variety of elements mm -hmm. uh, and it contains all three types of element metal non metal and metalloids next uh, see about d block elements it includes group 3 to group 12 elements uh, uh, they are found in the center of the periodic table uh, uh, their properties are intermediate to that of the s block and p block so they are called as the transition elements f block elements it includes 14 elements uh, after lanthanum le57 called lanthanoids and 14 elements after actimum called actinoids uh, they are placed in the bottom of the periodic table so they are also called as inner transition element uh, the position of hydrogen in the periodic table hydrogen is the lightest smallest and the first element of the periodic table uh, it behaves like uh, alkali metal as well as halogen in properties and it is so that it occupies a unique position in the periodic table uh, hydrogen can lose it's only one electron to form hydrogen ion like alkali metals and it also gain uh, one electron to form hydride ion like halogen alkali metals are solids while hydrogen is a gas hence the position of uh, uh, hydrogen in the modern periodic table is still under debate as the properties of the hydrogen are unique now let's see the advantages of uh, uh, modern uh, periodic table first of all uh, it is uh, based on more fundamental property that is atomic number it is easy to remember and reproduce each group is an independent group and the idea of a subgroup has been discarded uh, the table completely separates metal from non-metals the non-metals are present in the upper right corner of the periodic table uh, Portion of certain elements which were earliest misfits interchanged in Mandelev's period table are now justified and it is arranged based on the atomic number. Um, it correlates the position of the element with its electronic configurations uh, more clearly. Now let's see about the position of rare gases. The elements helium, neon, uh, argon, 
Krypton, Xenon and Radon of Group 18 in the periodic table are called noble gases or rare gases. They are monoatomic gases and do not react with other substances easily due to subshells. Hence, they are called as inert gases.